can show you if I hit the info button here you'll see uh, what's on my LCD screen so here you I'm holding the bracketing the auto bracketing button down and I'm going to increase it to nine frames and now I'm going to hold down the the bracketing burst button and take nine shots Oops. all you need to set the camera in single shot mode ironically when you're holding that down and I actually need to I need to increase the ISO because it's too dark in here I can take pictures that fast that I want to show you so now hold on the bracketing burst button that was nine shots and I'll set it to continuous high so you can hear the difference well you know what my shutter speed is still too slow to hear the full effect alright here we go now I have it up to a hundred of a second so here is continuous high at six frames per second so now I'll change that back to bracketing burst so that you can hear the eight frames per second hold the bracketing burst button down and fire as you can hear 20% faster and you see the picture showing up and there's our nine pictures all the same exposure because we set it to bracket flash and we've disabled the flash by keeping it shut a couple other things I want to talk about um, Nikon Capture NX is a piece of software that lets you control the camera remotely um, almost all the image taking functions of it you can adjust everything mechanical software ISO aperture um, exposure compensation flash compensation and it even supports live view so when you turn live view on you can see 640 by 480 resolution video on the screen and then you can uh, use the screen to fine-tune your focus and a nice thing about live view is I'm going to zoom in to the monitor here press the focus button now the lens is focused so I let go of the focus button I'm zoomed all the way in so now within live view itself I can zoom in more so I can zoom in with software so now you can see what I'm looking at and you can see the lens bouncing around now I have the 18 to 200 VR in here so if I turn VR on you'll see it smooth out there we go I'm hand holding this one thing I noticed about the VR is if you hold it very still for an extended amount of time if you hold it too still the vibration reduction stops working it seems to think that it's on a tripod or something so if you wiggle it back and forth up and down again it smooths out for about five seconds and then after five seconds it'll start bouncing around so what I do if I'm holding it very still I wiggle it around and I wait one second and take my picture so if you wait too long it'll start bouncing around again that's live view mode And a couple other things that I'm going to suggest is um, if you're into HDR photography, that's high dynamic range, go Google uh, Photo Matrix. It'll allow you to merge nine pictures, all taken at different exposures from underexposed to overexposed, into one picture that shows details and all highlights and shadows without any lost information. Um, if you're into panoramas, you want to look out look up for uh, or look up auto stitch it's a program that lets you automatically stitch panoramas that you've taken all you need is about 20 or 30 percent overlap from picture to picture you don't need a tripod just take pictures like crazy and it'll figure out 
where they go and where they belong and what angle they should be at and how they should be distorted to blend in and it works really well. Um, if you're into macros, there's a program called Combine ZM that allows you to stack pictures. So like, uh, I don't know if you've taken many macros, but the area that's in focus is very small. So what this allows you to do is take multiple exposures at different distances and then it combines them so that the entire image is in focus. Uh, if you want something for noise removal, go Google Neat Image or Noise Ninja. They're very good, better than in-camera noise removal. Uh, if you're looking to enlarge images, even larger than what the native resolution supports, Google Genuine Fractals. If you're looking to remove dust from the camera sensor, like I said, um, check out Dust Aid. If you want to see if you have dust or not, uh, set the camera focus to infinity. Point the camera about 10 inches away. Point it at a bright background, like a I don't know something like the sky or a wall, something that's illuminated, and set the aperture to as large a number as you can, so that the iris makes a tiny little hole, and then take a picture. And then when you zoom in, if you have dust on your sensor, you'll see little black spots. Uh, I can actually show you. I'll take a picture right now. I'll set the um, set the aperture to let's see I'm in aperture priority mode so oh I'm still in bracketing mode though I need to get out of bracketing mode so I'm going to turn it from 9 down to down to 0 and now I can adjust my f-stop all the way up to f22. Take a picture of something bright with the focus set to infinity. So I need to get closer or zoom in more. Here we go. Actually, you wanna, I have my ISO set to really high, so I want to turn that down so there's not noise, doesn't look like. So the noise doesn't look like dust. Okay, here's my picture. I'll zoom in on it. And I should have a little bit of dust because I need to clean my sensor. There you see like a couple dark spots. Not too much dust. There's a little dark spot. So that right there is what dust looks like on your center. Little dark spots. And dust aid is a sticky foam tape that doesn't leave a residue on your center that picks that dust up. I noticed though that uh, you need to make a couple passes, like two or three passes around the entire center before it gets all of it.